would say our school systems, I mean, I went to public school here and I turned out okay, right? I mean, maybe that's questionable. I don't know, but... weird things are unfolding in the Phoenix, Arizona real estate market. Maybe you live in Phoenix or maybe you're relocating here and you want to buy a home and you're like, wait a second, why is everyone leaving Phoenix? I polled my friends, my family, remember I'm from here, found out some of the main reasons. I didn't Google these. These are real life people and answers of why they are taking off and leaving Phoenix. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so let's jump right in. Reason number one, you're not, you're not going to believe what I'm going to say because you're going to think it's the opposite, but people are actually leaving to get away from their family. I know that a lot of people retire out here in Phoenix Metro, and we have so many beautiful places to live here, right? We have so much, we have world-class golf, world-class spas, shopping. I mean, it's an amazing place to live. Apparently during COVID, a lot of people relocated here, you know, probably a lot of them to be with family. And now all of that close-knit quarters, I guess, um, isn't going so well anymore. So it might mean leaving the city and in some cases, leaving the states. You know, drop a comment below. Are you moving here to be close to family or are you moving here to maybe also get away from family in another state? Anyhow, that was reason number one. And these are in no particular order. You guys. Okay, you guys, the next reason why people are leaving Phoenix, again, this is from real people on the streets, from friends and family and my clients. And the next reason people are leaving relates to affordability, but not in the way you think. So if you have owned a home out here for more than four years, probably, so pre-COVID, right? You have made some amazing money on your property. You have so much equity because our home prices have really gone up. So a lot of people are finding that they can move to a smaller town in the Midwest, sell their home here in Phoenix, make a great profit and live a much more affordable lifestyle, you know, somewhere in the Midwest. And they're really happy about that. They're going to have money in the bank. They're going to have extra money to vacation and maybe, you know, build a home that they really like on two acres of land. And they just can't do that here. So that is one of the reasons is really so it is kind of a two-sided affordability thing, right? Like, some people are leaving because they made so much money and some people are leaving because they don't make enough money to afford to purchase a home. So they're also going to smaller towns and that might be going to like Casa Grande or Maricopa. It doesn't necessarily mean leaving the whole state, though some people are leaving the state entirely. Okay, you guys, reason number three why people are leaving Phoenix and this is a really hard reason to even talk about, but I think it's important to talk about. Remember, these are reasons from real people that, that live here or did live here, right? And one of the main things is drug abuse, okay? So as far as opioids and fentanyl and all of those things, they are issues in every state, right? It doesn't matter where you go, drugs will be around. I do have people that I have lost right in my life to, to drug abuse. And so something like this is very hard to hear. I actually found a really interesting website. Let me share my screen with you and we can kind of compare to other cities because we are not the drug capital of the world or anything like that. Like I said, anywhere you go, drugs can be found, right? That's just part of life and part of society. People might be relocating here to start over from, you know, perhaps some kind of abuse or a an issue that they had in another state, right? Sometimes you need to just change your surroundings and change who you interact with and really start fresh. So let's take a quick look, you guys. So from August, 2022 to July, 2023, Maricopa County had uh, 1,844 deaths. And this is just from drugs in general. This is kind of a cool thing here. Um, this is our state and this is the Maricopa County. So most of them are in Maricopa County. It is the biggest uh, county. It's where Phoenix is, Scottsdale, all of those places, right? So anyhow, let's take a look at, um, so where are we at? 1844. Let's take a look at, there's a lot of people moving here from Los Angeles. So perhaps let's see if we are better or worse. They had many more deaths. They had 2,500 deaths in that time frame. 
versus what uh, Maricopa County had. So perhaps people are relocating here because we do have a, you know, a lesser, um, a lesser vibe of that. Let's take a look at uh, Cook County, right? That is going to be Chicago. Let's see there. They had 2230. Okay. So Chicago also has more than us, right? Let's take a look at how about San Diego. Okay. So San Diego had less uh, than Phoenix did. So Phoenix does have more deaths than that. But anyhow, some of this is just interesting to look at. Um, it's all perspective, you know, on, um, you know, where you're going or why you're leaving. But, but anyhow, I just wanted to shed some light on that because it was a real answer. And I'm just trying to be truthful about why some people are trying to find a different way of life and are leaving Phoenix Metro. So we are definitely not the worst in the nation. That is an awful reason, but that is uh, reason number three. All right, you guys, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I know your time is valuable. I really appreciate it. If you find this helpful, definitely think of liking, subscribing. And remember, if you're relocating to Phoenix or if you live here and you're thinking of buying or selling a home, I am a full-time award-winning realtor and a Phoenix native. I would love, love, love to help guide you on your home buying or selling journey. So please definitely reach out. I love chatting the market with Let's you. Let's jump into the next reason. And the next reason is probably pretty obvious. I think any video you find on why people are leaving Phoenix, weather is going to come up. Okay. So is it hot here? Yes. Are there days where I am like, why do I live here? Yes. <laughs> it definitely does get hot. And our sun is very intense. I don't know if everyone knows this, but the closer you get to the equator, the more intense the sun is. So, you know, I had clients actually recently, we were looking at homes and it was like 78 out, but the sun was right on us. And they were like, whoa, it, it that feels, doesn't feel like 78. That feels very warm. And I said, yeah, that's just how the sun works down here. Right. So it does get hot here, but right now, okay. So it's, it's April, right? April, 2020, ugh, April, 2024, we have had more rain recently and cooler weather than we've ever had. So maybe all these people leaving because it's too hot helped our urban sprawl or the heat Island. I don't know. Maybe we're actually cooling down, but I can tell you to be in the 60s and rainy in April is not normal and we're loving it. And so we've actually had a very chilly and rainy spring and winter. So yes, though, heat in the summer, it's very hot, but just get a pool and get sunscreen and get misters and, and good air conditioning, like I've said in all my other videos. And, you know, you will survive it. Our life still goes on. People still do things and, you know, go to our lakes, travel up north, all of that good okay, stuff. Okay, you guys, the final reason, and there's kind of a two part to this. Uh, why people are leaving the Phoenix area. And this is also kind of a sad thing, but it has to do with our school systems and that's mixed in with our politics, right? So we have a school voucher system. Basically, parents get money per their child and they can apply that money to whatever kind of education circumstances for their child that they want. So now my best friend and my sister are both teachers. They've been teachers for 15, 20 years, special education teachers. Um, They're wonderful, amazing people. Um, we don't pay them enough, uh, which is a whole nother video, but any yeah. vouchers were originally created to help um, students with special needs, right? To get that additional services that they needed. Now they're saying that because anyone can use it, that these schools are getting less funding and that is making these schools not as great because they're receiving less money. And there's less money for programs and for supplies and to pay teachers. And so it really is becoming difficult to go to certain public schools and they're closing schools and they're starting to um, bus different children to different schools. And some parents are not liking that. And so it's kind of become a mess out here with our school system. Now, we do have really wonderful schools. We do have some of the top um, schools, you know, in the state here in Phoenix. The Kyrene School District is amazing. We have a lot of Montessori schools, which are really, really wonderful. And you can also choose where you want to send your child to school. You don't have to go right, you know, where you live. Just because it's down the street, you can still, if you can get, apply and get in to a school, you know, across the city, then your child can go there. So 
as long as you can, you know, get them there. <laughs> so that is kind of what's happening with our school system. That being said, people are moving to, you know, a lot of the East Coast cities have amazing, they're always ranking in the top, you know, and depending where you look, we usually rank 45th, 48th, 50th, as far as public school systems go. So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my why people are leaving Phoenix video. I tried to be very um, authentic and get real answers from real people, not just Google. Don't forget to reach out to me if you are looking to move here, relocate here. I do so many relocations, especially off of YouTube. And you guys are all so amazing. I really appreciate it. So, Anyhow, thank you again, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.